Hey guys, uh, Master Xeon here, working on another Blender tutorial. So on today's video, um, I'm going to show you all how I made this video right here. It's just a flower using a soft body and, uh, well, I guess cloth physics and an armature. So, let's go ahead and uh, jump into Blender. So, I always start off by pressing A to select everything, X to delete. We're going to just start off making a flower petals. Um, tap to go into edit mode, 7 to go on the top view. Um, control R, add a loop cut, right click, uh, leave it in place. Select this top vert, let's move it up the Y axis. Select this, we'll move it down. And, um, Let's go ahead and delete this side right here. And um, go ahead and add a mirror modifier, turn on clipping. And add a couple more loop cuts in here. And um, I found a pretty interesting way to do geometry. Like, you know, you can make a flower petal a completely other way. I'll show y'all here in a second. And uh, it, it's the way that I would have done it, you know. Um, I guess when I was still a, a big time noob at this, um, but I totally wouldn't do it now. Um, but I decided that I wanted to use more of a circular kind of geometry to it because it looks well whenever it's um, deforming. Um, now, I've been working pretty hard on. Um, getting these tutorials to be of better quality um, whenever I get this all sorted out I'll, I plan on making the first ones again in better quality with the endings that I'm intending um, so we got our flower control one a subserve turn up the um, top modifier cage we got a pretty nice looking flower here. So we're just tapping the edit mode, select these middle verts, G Z down, control R is at a, about five loop cuts here. We'll select we'll add three more there. And I'm just pressing control R to add these. And just selecting these verts and just making it basically look more like a petal. Hit set smooth, looks a lot better. Um, I'm also going to hold alt and click the vert vertices on the edge to select them. Press O for proportional, um, G, Z, and pull it down while rolling the wheel in to lower the fall off. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's go on the side view. And uh, we got a pretty good looking pedal. Let's give it a bit of a curve. So, uh, Shift S, cursor is selected. Shift A, add curve, Bezier. Um, tab, go in edit mode, A, select everything, R, Z, um, 90. Turn off proportional, press O. Uh, side view. So now we got our curve with our flower petal. We're going to select our flower petal, select our curve, control P, curve to form. Let's go ahead and select the correct axis. That worked, but it's upside down. Select everything with A, R, Y, 80. Go back out and it did actually. R, 
C180. Let's try that. Okay. I know what's going on. Um, apply that. And then RZ180. And it's, it's almost there. R Y one eighty come out and we got it on there but still looks a little off. Um that'll do. Um might as well not press our luck. So I just went ahead and applied it. Now I'm gonna delete the curve. There we got our first pedal. Go on the top view, looking pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and um, center it up with our pivot point, GY. I like to have my pivot point always in the center. It's just a, a real nice way to, to do modeling. Now we're going to go ahead and spin it around. Um, spin. Change it to 360. Add, choose duplicates. Lower this down. Some five orthographic spin six zero duplicates and duplicates and we're almost there. Let's do this one more time. That'll do. X, delete, just to get rid of that. And we got our pedals. So let's go ahead and start applying our soft body physics to it. Um, control tab, go into weight paint mode. F to increase your brush size. And we just want the red is super stiff, pretty much. And the other ones is varying degrees. So there we go. That's how it looks if you're following along. Um, let's get out of this and let's go over to So let me move my over. You know, let's go over here and apply a cloth. Um, I'm going to go with cotton. Quality for a tutorial, I'll put it at 10. Structure, raise that to 30. Spring, raise that to 15. And we're going to go ahead and save the file as Sorry about that. Um, so we went ahead and applied our um, cloth to it and set this up. Now we went ahead and saved the file. It'll go ahead and save a catch file now that we've saved it, I believe. Uh, we're going to make this only 50 frames for this test just because that'll be good for a tutorial. Um, 50 frames set it up right here, just cache. And we're going to just leave it at that. Now Let's go ahead and add the pedal in because that'll um, get this moving along. Let's go ahead and add a circle. Change the vertices to 12. TZ, move down. Where'd it go? Okay. Move that back up. Tab go on the inner mode. S to scale. Now I made mine where it was a little wide and it went up so it deformed a little nicer. Um, I just found, and I'm just basically just making it large enough to accommodate the flower. So, a 
that's a lot better. Let's go ahead and add in some loop cuts. Tab in edit mode, control R. There we go. And I hate adding that much extra geometry. Now I went ahead and tabbed back into edit mode, pressed A to select everything, control N to flip normals. So that way you don't have those ugly looking birds. Now we got our tube set up for the for the uh, flowers. So let's go ahead and set up just a basic, basic um, rig for it so we can control it using a bone. Um, shift S, cursor is selected, shift A, armature single bone, tab in edit mode, G Z, take it all the way to the top, select bone, W subdivide, W subdivide. Now we're going to E, extrude up this bone, we're going to select this bone and press Alt P, clear parent, then we're going to press Control Tab, go into pose mode, select this bone, and then select this, shift select this bone, and press Shift I to active bone, select this bone, and um, never mind, we're going to select this bone, tab back into edit mode, press E, Z to pull a bone down. And now we're going to tap back into post mode. This bone is now connected to the very first bone. And basically we got this bending action when we move the bone up and down. Now, <coughs> after we um, have that set up, we are going to um, just leave it like this. Now, I'm having, I was having an issue actually with the... Um, set up with the IK at the very beginning uh, with the bones twitching and jerking uh, from going straight down to bending and it was causing some real issues with the uh, cloth um, but I am still putting this tutorial together nonetheless so bear with me with that um, in case you see it now we're going to go ahead and um, press N and name this bone um, base, I mean, uh, we're going to name this C-O-N-T, or control, and this one for B-A-S-C, and, uh, that's pretty much it, the rest of these bones, um, we won't really need, um, this is the only one that matters, so, uh, let's give it a custom object, this is how I did it when I first originally was, um, designing this tutorial, so, I'd like to stay true to it for good luck or something. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and make sure we click that so it never ever shows up in the render. Now, um, select this bone, go over here. We're going to um, actually, let's go over here to um, object data, change it to B bone. And now we want to go over to um, bone, custom shape sphere. Now we select the sphere, go into edit mode, um, tab, R, X, and if we do it 90, we straighten it up. If we scale it in and move it up, we got this ball as our controller for it, and that's all we have to worry about. Now Alt H bring us back. I forgot one thing. We're gonna select this yellow bone, go over here and set up rotation. That way it follows the rotation of it as well. So if I turn it, we can point the flower in different directions. Now select everything, Alt G, Alt R, everything's back to normal. Select this bone over here, turn off the form, select this bone, turn off the form, and now we're going to select this bone, go into its deform, turn up segments to two on each of them. Alright, control tab, get out of um, pose mode, now we're going to select we're going to select the stem, select the bone, control P, automatic weights. Now, 
that. Let's go back into pose mode and select these bones again and hide them. And now we have our flower that we're controlling, which is pretty cool. Um, and we're going to Alt H and hide. And on this one, we're going to actually give it a chain length of only three so it doesn't move this bone very much. Select everything, Alt G, Alt R, and let's continue. So we're going to go back and just hide this stuff and select this. Alright, this right here, when you select this and make sure we choose water, water, and water. Alright, move this to layer zero so it's gone. And let's continue. So we got this basically, which is our deformer uh, flower controller. We'll rotate it using RR as our trackball rotation to control it. Um, Alt G, let's put it back. Uh, for now, we will select this and this and press forward slash to go into local mode. So right here, we're going to add a circle. And first of all, lower its vertices to 12. Here we can go. Alright. And we're just going to finish building the flower. Just because we left it a little incomplete. So. Easy. Let's go up. Now, Andrew Price would probably say I need to look at some reference images, but uh, we're just going to go on our own intuition here. So, we're just dragging it down and selecting these vertices. GZ. Switch over to other view. Got those. Uh, it's, it's horribly off center. Let's control Y that subserve smooth. Select everything. Control N. Flip it. That may have been a little fast. Sorry. But we have also went over this with the pedals. Me adding subserve and basic modeling. Yeah, I'm just pressing E and extruding. So you should at least have a little basic knowledge if you're following this one. Um, so I'm just trying to add like the, the middle part. So I'm just pressing E, extruding, scaling it in. Create like a little dome up top. It's not going to be something super realistic. We're just having fun here. Alright, so we got our freaky little flower here. Um, really freaky looking. Let's take a look at this one more time just to make sure. Alright, if we look at it up close, the materials look pretty good. Um, and the modeling is just more lenient, so let's jump back over and then there we go. Now that looks a little more like a flower, um, kind of. Alright. <coughs> 
So we press Alt H, or we select this button, press Alt H, bring it all back. Um, let's make sure we turn on X ray over here in the object. Let's make sure we turn on X ray. So when we come out, it'll show up through everything still. We're going to select this. We're selecting this, or we're selecting the flower, and then we're selecting this part and choosing Control P, set object to parent. Let's go ahead and save. Blender does crash a lot. And then we're selecting this um, and selecting this bone, and we're cho choosing Control P, bone. So now, if we move it, the flower moves along. Pretty neat. So, oh yeah, let's make sure that um, we go over here and choose pinning group, so that way it knows exactly um, what areas to hold still. So, let's um, test it out. Ah uh, yes, for tutorial purposes I will be turning off subsurf. It's crazy to try to use it. And as we move it, we see that we actually do have some reactive action here. So, let's go ahead and pick this up a notch. So, select, press A, a twice, select everything, Alt G, Alt R. And let's add some petals. So we'll click right here, mesh plane. Drag it over. We'll go on local view and make ourselves a plane. So have an edit mode, control R, right click, select these two, delete, modifier, mirror. Let's get to work. And there's not a lot of narrating to do right here, just make it a pedal. Um, I'm actually kind of impatient on this one, um, just because it's a lot that I want to deal with for this on the time constraint. Because originally, turn on clipping, originally, like, um, I had to do a lot of compositioning on the to get the look right because the materials just is um, were not working out well. As you can see I'm going for the same modeling pattern here as I did for the um, other part. And we're gonna go ahead and select these and Go ahead and select these again. I just, you know, add a little more geometry, make it more interesting. I mean, make it uh, able to have more detail. G Z. Uh, press O. Now, roll the wheel, give it a more gradual fall off. Select some right here. And I just go for that three little bend pattern, you know, kind of like, uh, I guess if I was drawing a leaf or something, smooth it, uh, that's really thick, SZ, SZ again, and we got a pretty nice looking little leaf. Let's select these outer verts, GZ, roll a wheel. Um, now, let's just rotate it from the side a little bit, and instead of going through all that work of getting the curve, let's just, let's just do it like this.
the easy way. And there we go, we got a leaf. Let's go ahead and apply the mirror. Press forward slash to get out. And we got our leaf over here. Um, let's go back into local view, forward slash, sorry. Um, let's put uh, W, remove doubles. Um, there's something wrong with the geometry here, so let's go and take a look at it. Let's see, I'm just going to use this tool and select these two. All in. I'm just merging all these by pressing B, dragging a box. Pressing Alt M at center. And I'm just going to do these until this looks decent because that will not work well with the simulator. And that about does it. So let's Control Tab and click, 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 click. Actually, let's back up a little bit. Uh, how do I want this? I want it to I want the petals to be the more blue, the more animated. The more red, the less animated. So for this, I want it something like that. Halfway. At least that part will still move and this part will go crazy. The darker the blue, lighter blue, basic weight painting. Um, I could go over that over in another tutorial if y'all are interested. Um, weight painting is actually pretty easy. And rigging, um, bones can be a pain, but it takes perseverance. Uh, control tab out of um, that mode and forward slash get out of um, that mode that we're in right there. Let's go ahead and add or t tab in edit mode, A to select everything. G, and let's put it right over this pivot point. This pivot point is important um, because that's where we want it to basically hold it at on the object. So that's leaf. You know. Now let's go ahead and attach it to it. We're going to attach this. We're going to make a duplicate. So, or let's go ahead and apply. Um, our cloth steps 10 structure 30 spring fifth, um, 15 and 50 this cash um, like I said um, pinning group and we just take it over here and we shift D duplicate it R Z one eight zero and we just rotate it one hundred and eighty degrees and we pin it to this bone. Now we're gonna make a third one, shift D, Z, move it up, tap into its edit mode, scale it up, and we're just going to Put that one right here and shift D R Z 180 and put it over here and that'll do it. Um, we want to add a little variation, so let's move these around some. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead and begin connecting them. So this one will hold this one. So click this, click the bone, control P, bone. Select this, select this, control P, bone. Select this, select this, control P, bone. Finally this, control P, bone. Actually, that might be a mistake. Um, this one, Alt P, clear parent, Alt P, clear parent. Select this one, 
select yellow bone, troll peak bone, troll peak bone. Alright, now it looks like a crazy mess, but it actually makes sense. So let's go ahead and save our file and uh, some of these leaves are looking, you know, some of these are looking a little detached from the plant and that would not look good. So let's just fix that and make sure that they are all slightly entering our plant here. <clears throat> now, I'm going to turn off subsurf for these. Like I said, for this tutorial, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, now, let's go ahead and uh, make a basic animation. So, we're going to hit auto keyframe and press G. Set a keyframe, G, click, and then up twice, and move it down, and then bring it forward, or um, control Z, bring it down. Bring it over, and we will make it interesting, bring it over more, bring it up, I'm just rotating it and just moving forward using the arrow keys, that's why I'm not explaining it, sorry, um, press up, or um, one, two, three, four, five, frames over, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. Flipping it back around and that's the final frame. I want to back over here, hit thrust up high. So let's play it back. And right now it looks pretty crummy because of um, the lack of cash. But we got it move over here. We got it moving over there. Alright, um, I know this one mistake here. This bump, this one right here, select it, control, uh, alt P, clear parent. We're going to select this, and select this bone, and choose control P, bone. Now, it'll move along with it. We originally parented it to this bone, and that was not working out. So let's go ahead and choose all of our cloth, and go here and choose bank. Just wait for that real quick. It looks like it's going pretty fast. Ding. Select like this one. Ding. Ding. And so every time you make a modification, you want to go ahead and uh, free it up and then bake it, um, is what I've come to learn. Um, so now we play it back, and it looks like we got... Let's see. All right, see, that was what I was talking about. So we will pull this down on the very first frame and rotate it over.
and that should fix that issue. Um, so we select everything, free bake, bake. Now what happened basically I think is that the bone twitched and threw the uh, cloth into crazy confusion. Um, if this works from here, I think that means I'm right. Um, so, control A. Looks much better. It's a little fast. So, um, let's double the size of the animation. I think my goal originally was to make 100 frame animations. And press home. Over, and, uh, sorry about that. Um, if you hold down control and press left, you'll move between these different animation, I mean these different um, screen layouts. So here we are in animation. Press home, make everything large. Scroll up a little bit till we can see frame 100. We just want to stretch all these to reach frame 100. So S, or if we go back to frame 1 by pressing shift left, then pressing S, we can scale it up alright there now it fits under a hundred frames so this is our definite ending now promise free bake bake. Now it's going to take a little bit longer, but now we have enough time to actually let the pedals move. I think 50 frames is like 2 seconds. Frame 1. Okay. It only went to frame 50. So free bake. 100. And let's do that for everything. One hundred, one hundred, one hundred, and one hundred. So we get back in here. Let's see how much time. Thirty-seven minutes. It's kind of long. Um, so let's go ahead and shift A. Okay. Forgot to bake. Control S, been a while since we saved. Hit bake. And waiting on these bakes will drive you crazy, but that's why you keep them short, turn off your subsurf, and just perfect these settings here, and you will get your clock to look the way you want. The, um, I have found um, a couple people were asking me about, you know, like, how would you make a cape or something like that. Um, I would just animate it first, and then just have empties control the hooks, and just have them follow the armature um, accordingly. Um, if, if you know what I mean. Um, so control, I mean, uh, Alt A, animate. And we got a very really nice looking animation. Now there's a couple of parts where the flower petals twitch, but I won't be obsessive and wait, Alt A, John hide. Let's hide these bones. I won't be obsessive and we'll just leave it be. So. Go ahead and select this, assign material. We're just going to make it green, darker green, wrap, select the white over here, turn that to a lighter green, turn the shader to normal. That'll get us a nice little leafy color. Lower the specularity, lower the hardness definitely, lower the specularity some more. And let's give it a Clouds, texture, uh, colors, increased brightness, and we'll make that control the specular intensity. So we got this mm, interesting kind of look here. 
Um, maybe also on a normal, let's give it a slight bump, and that'll give it that uneven look. Let's also apply that to this. We'll call it greeny, and we'll also give it to all the leaves greeny. I don't always give materials weird names. I'm kind of bad at um, practicing reusability. Well, that's my New Year's resolution is to make all my blend files reusable. For the petals here, we're going to go ahead and give it an interesting color. Uh, red. Wrap. I'm going to give that um, kind of an orangish. Come from the normals. Blend model. Multiply. No. And yeah. Leave it on that. Lower the intensity. Lower the hardness. Um, we'll leave it at that and go over here. We'll add a texture. Blend. And where are the options for this blend at? Okay. Here it goes, spherical. Uh, color will make it influence it with yellow and do it very lightly. So we got this uh, kind of interesting color here. I hope it actually works the way it did earlier. Alright, control S save. I hate losing blender files. Um, and we'll just go in the front. Shift A, add a camera. Five, go into orthographic. Let's get it the way we want. Mm. Here we go. Control Alt Zero, G Z Z. Back it up. G Z Z. Back up some more. And there we go. Now. Here's how I'm going to get to where I need to go. Select this stock, tab in edit mode, hold down alt, select this ring. Um, now press shift, s, cursor is selected, tab out of edit mode, and now my cursor is right under that stock. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and make it a flower pot. So add a circle, 12 verts. Go back into orthographic view, tab in edit mode, S to scale, O, turn off proportional, and we're just going to make a quick and easy flower pot. So, DZ, move it down, and we're going to press E to extrude, E, E, scale, E, Z, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale, Z, E, Z, scale, and W, merge, and there we go, our basic flower pot. Let's hold down Alt, select these rings, E, S, we're going to make a flower pot portion for the inside. That's vertice selected, so let's hold down control and press plus 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 plus. And now that we got all these selected, press P selection tab. Now this portion is our dirt. So let's add a subsurf to this. Smooth. Um, tab into edit mode. A control N. There we go. Now let's add some loop cut so it doesn't look so rounded. So I'm just adding in some additional geometry to uh, crease up 
that subserve and there we go so that's what our pictures look like so far let's go ahead and create our dirt um, for our flower pot let's select that first tab it edit mode brown wrap um, we're going to give it a darker brown, normal, and we're going to lower the intensity, save it to specular, hardness, maybe just a little bit, and you know, we could add like a blender logo on the front, but we're not going to straight this time. Um, sorry. Now to the dirt. Um, go ahead and select the dirt. Let's tab in edit mode and add two loop cuts here with control R. And add a material. Make it brown. Wrap. And we're going to change this to energy. Lower the specular and choose clouds, turn off color, turn on normal, and we're going to have it displacing it pretty badly. Um, there we go. So now let's go ahead and get in front view, or left orthographic view since that's how my flower ended up, and let's add in lights so we can view it. So put it in empty, shift A, um, now shift A again, add a area lamp, and let's select that and the, let's select the area lamp, and the empty, and control T. And let's lower our distance significantly. And same with our energy. Seven in the top view. And we're just positioning it behind everything. We're going to make it larger so it kind of lights up everything from the back nicely. And let's view it in render view. God awful. Increase the distance. Increase the distance some more. Increase the energy some more. And I'm just toying with the lighting until I find a setting that works well for me. pretty good for that one I just want that one to be kind of a rim light so let's add a spotlight select we have our spotlight selected shift select our empty control T track to constraint and let's go over here and under the light settings increase the shadow buffers to 4 Increase it to 1024, samples to, uh, we'll leave it at 3, and our auto clip will just go ahead and pull that out. Uh, now if we render it, we got some nice soft shadows uh, going on it. Now let's go ahead and duplicate it, shift D. Like I said, um, it's going pretty fast, I know. Um, I'm pressed for time, and this is a lot that I'm wanting to accomplish, so, like I said, um, this one may not be best if you're very new. Um, so, here we go. Let's hide all our lamps. That'll do for the illumination.
Okay. Let's go ahead and delete the keyframe here. I'm just trying to set it up where the camera is looking at it from the right side. Um, so it's looking still the wrong way. So let's work on this. All right. There we go. That's the side we want. Control Alt Zero, and our camera is stuck there now. Now, if we render it, we have over here the flower. And from this side, that light looks pretty intense. So let's uh, do something about that. Alt H, unhide everything. We got our camera there. This light needs to go further back. This light needs to come back over here. This light needs to go ahead from the side. We're going to lower it to 30 just to see if that improves it and that is really intense um, so we're still going to pull these away these must have keyframes too alright alt i alt i alright sorry I'm all full of blunders tonight um, there we go Let's see. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add in. Alright, on this green, I want to lower that specularity a little bit more. I still see quite a luminance on it. So, this is, is affecting the intensity a bit much. Now let's look at it. And it looks a little better. So now, what I want to do is go over here, let's turn on post processing edge threshold about 76, let's render that, and now we got this nice little flower outline, and I think it looks pretty good. Now, let's see, next step, over here in the first tab, let's go ahead on render layers. Let's name, let's um, make the first render layer, name it flower. Maybe not all caps. Let me get a drink real quick. Alright. Now, from here, uh, let's go ahead and add another one. This one's going to be layer, uh, I guess, five. We're going to call this dot, and you'll see what that's for in a moment. Turn off sky on both of these layers. That will come in handy. Now, let's go ahead and render it again. And that is what we got. Now, let's go into front view. Um, Let's go into camera view, and right here in our view, where we can see, click on the flower, and put the 3D cursor there. Now shift A, add mesh, circle, F6, align to view, 12. Now tap into edit mode, scale it all the way up about there. And scale it up some more. Press E to extrude, scale it in, E to extrude, scale it in. And we'll leave it about there. Control 1, add subserve, hit smooth, tab in edit mode, let's select these faces. Control N to face them out. Now I'm going to stop right here and pick up in just a moment. 